But right now it is time to talk to Drake Bell. Drake, are you there? Yes, I am, man. How is it going? It's going quite well, you know. For our last show, this is uh, everyone seems to be very excited that you're on the show, and I thank you very much for doing it. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Let's, let's start it right up. Um, Shalene, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of these names. I'm sorry. There's a lot of different international people doing this. But Shalene wanted to know, how is, it wor- how is it working with a legend like Roger Daltrey when you first started playing guitar? Uh, it was incredible. You know, I mean, I grew up listening to that kind of music, so getting to uh, work with him was, you know, sort of a dream come true. Uh, it was it was amazing, too, because I got to not only, you know, work and act with him and everything, and we also got to, you know, I got to go in the studio and, and record with him and um, do that whole thing. It was, it, was, it was pretty exciting. Now, growing up, who would you say was your biggest influence to start doing, you know, music and writing and all this kind of stuff? Well, I guess to start playing music, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I've always been like a, I've always been a huge music fan. Um, Guitar-wise, I guess it would be Brian Setzer. He was the one, you know, when I first started playing guitar, I wanted to be Brian Setzer. And, uh, but then after growing, you know, listening, listening to more music and getting into, like, the Beatles and Beach Boys and all that and Bob Dylan and, you know, straying away from trying to be a shredding, you know, Angus Young and moving more into, like, songwriting and developing my own music, you know? Yeah. Now, uh, actually, that's funny because I was actually thinking this this morning. You actually got to meet Brian Seltzer because he was on that Monday Night Football uh, opening up with uh, Hank Williams and also my guitar hero, Richie Sambora. So how was that experience? Oh, that was awesome. Richie was awesome, too. He was such an awesome guy. Um, but uh, it, it was incredible, you know. I mean, here I am. I, 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 this is something you dream of, you know. I mean, I grew up idolizing Brian Setzer. I had every record and every you know, video. I mean, I had everything on the guy and had seen him, you know, live 20-some-odd times. And uh, being able to actually sit on stage and, jam with the guy, you know, it was, that was like one of the coolest moments ever. Now, um, towards the end of your Drake and Josh career, you dis- you actually got to produce and direct one of the, the, the last one, the, the shrimp episode. Now, do you want to continue maybe doing something like that, directing, producing? Absolutely. Um, that's something I've always been, it's always been a passion of mine, you know, I've always loved being behind the camera as well as in front of it, you know, uh, Directing is just something I've always wanted to do. I'd love to continue doing it. Now, um, in your concerts, you know, I've, I've seen them, and uh, you, you do a lot of covers, you know, Jellyfish, joining a fan club. You do a lot of the Brian Seltzer stuff. Now, these days, is there, if there's one song that you could do a cover of right now, what would you say it would be? Man, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, You're on the hot seat, so I have to, I have to ask these questions. See, I'd like to cover like an old song. Yeah, any type of song. Um, man, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Mister Blue Sky. That'd be yeah, a fun one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Now, uh, let's let's go into the the now right now, and that's your. Uh, doing a third album everyone's very excited about it and uh out and you've actually worked with a lot of people outside of the usual back house cj and all them now what how has been that experience working with people like toby gad uh it's been interesting it's been great you know they're they're all really amazingly talented guys uh i've also got to write with a lot of people who i've you know grown up loving you know like uh roger manning actually from jellyfish i got to uh, i wrote a couple songs with uh, some other guys who were who were just really great, you know, and uh, part of that whole jellyfish gang. So it's very, you know, it's, it's cool to kind of pick their brains, you know, and uh, see what they're into and everything. And uh, it's it's just been it's been a cool experience. We've gotten a lot of really great songs, and um, so now we're just kind of piecing them all together and seeing what's what's going to make the record, what's not going to make the record. You know, there's God, there's so many songs that have been written uh, in the past year and a half. So now, um. What would you say um, is the major difference between It's Only Time and this third album coming out? Hmm. Um, 
I don't know. I think the production is. A, I think there's less production. There's. I mean, but, but I don't know. I mean, we're we're trying. We're we're doing different things. I think we're gonna. There's there's some things as it stands right now that are are, are vastly different from its only time. It's more, um, not as vocal heavy. Not as you know. Not as many lush harmonies and. You know, it's not as Brian Wilson-y. It's, uh, I guess it's more, um, I guess it's straight-ahead singer-songwriter rock, you know, just a little more. There's a lot of, uh, um, I don't know, there's a lot of more emotional songs on the record, I think. You know, It's Only Time was filled with a lot of happy-go-lucky, you know, fun stuff. This one's got a little bit more emotion, a little bit more like Telegraph, I think. Um I don't know, you know, I just, but, but that's, it's still, it's still in various stages, so we may go back and, you know, I love that sound of, of you know, that, that we, that we, that we're used to, that we do all the, that we're, that we've done before, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see when we go, when we go in and finally piece it all together, you know. Yeah, um, so, so far, we've seen the back, the behind the scenes of this, and you picked the song, the first single looks to be Our Love, what made you guys choose that song out of the, uh, 40 odd songs that you guys have written so far. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just really like that song, and uh, uh, the verses. Uh, it's a very personal song, and the verses are great. I like the verses a lot, and the chorus is, you know, big and fun. And I, I, I don't know. I guess that's why. <laughs> uh, what is the, like? Can you explain some of the stuff that's going to be happening in the video that you're actually making for it? Uh, it's cool. There's like uh, we we use this stuff called light graffiti where you um it's an effect that you use by leaving the shutter open for a longer period of time and you take a flashlight or any sort of light you know like a any any sort of light and move it around and you can actually write stuff in the air and, be, and and as the shutter shuts it you can actually it'll you can spell words like love or you know um hours or any any words that you write that will actually show up and then you can piece it together like a flip book, and it looks like all these lights are being written in the sky, like graffiti kind of stuff. It's 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 a really cool effect, and that's kind of the basis of the video. It's like a heavy light graffiti. That sounds really cool. Um, so let's just end it with uh, a question about the tour that you're doing. And there's a lot of um, there's two dates in Mexico. There's a couple dates in the U.S. Um, is there any? There's probably going to be a couple more shows. How do you feel about this tour coming up? I'm very, very excited. You know, it's going to be great to get back to Mexico, and uh, we had such a great time there last time. So, um, really looking forward to that. And then hopefully, uh, when I get back, I'll be doing some shows here in the states, and then I head off to Canada to do a film for Nickelodeon. And then I'm back, and then hopefully we uh, head out to Australia and Asia and New Zealand and all that. And uh, so, hopefully, we just stay on the road. And I'm. I'm so excited i love traveling so can't wait all right man well i know you're pressed for time so i'm gonna let you go but i want you to know that so many girls that i know from my hometown want to shout their love to you right now so i'm gonna give them that chance to so for all you girls that want to meet drake bell from my hometown just so you guys know this is he knows you love him now so uh, <laughs> so drake i'm gonna give you a little push here i got uh i know coming up so Thank cool. you for joining me, man, and I'll definitely, I think I'm going to the New Jersey show with a friend of mine, so I'll definitely hopefully oh, see awesome. you there. awesome. I'll see you there, man. All right, man. Keep in touch. All right. Peace out. And that was Drake Bell, so thank you for being on my show. It's, it was a fun time talking to you. So here is his single off the It's Only Time album. Here's I Know, so stick around.